after winning multiple league titles, Champions Leagues, Ballon d'Ors, and finally a FIFA World Cup. There was only a single thing remaining for Lionel Messi to achieve, a sandwich named after him. Leo will not only provide assists for his teammates on the pitch, but he will also assist global brands to make loads of cash. So, if you want to learn how Messi is making his money outside of the green pitch, and how brands are taking advantage of every second of his stay in the United States, then hang on tight because the numbers we're about to show are just mind-boggling. Sure, Messi refused an astronomical salary from Al Halal to join Inter Miami in the MLS. However, the Argentine will still make a shitload of money. He signed a two-and-a-half-year contract at Inter Miami with a reported extension option of another 12 months. The deal is worth $125-150 million, broken to keying $4.15 million per month. But that's not it. Leo will also receive an ownership stake in the club as part of his deal. Imagine having the GOAT as your club president. Inter Miami fans are fortunate, aren't they? Well, this isn't the only source of money that Messi will be having. In fact, he will be earning much more thanks to the commercial deals he will be signing. Messi is not a regular player. Therefore, he wasn't offered a regular contract. In fact, he was presented with a deal created with some of MLS leading commercial partners. Let's take Adidas as a first example. The sportswear giant already had a deal with Messi since 2006. Not only that, in 2017, they offered him a lifetime contract. Meanwhile, the MLS has recently signed a humongous $830 million extension with Adidas to be the kit and ball supplier for the next six years. Leo's contract allows him to earn a share of the profits won through any increase in merchandise sales that may occur since his arrival in the USA. Keep in mind that Adidas makes the kits for all of the MLS MLS 29 clubs. Yeah, that's an infinite source of money. But wait, that is not all. Another party got involved and helped seal the deal to bring Messi to America. Inter Miami's billionaire co-owner, George Mass, said the Apple contract played a vital role in the deal. Wait, what? What does Apple have to do with Leo? Well, last year, Apple became the exclusive home to the league for the next 10 years in a deal that is worth $2.5 billion and covers 100 countries. The games will also be aired on Apple TV+. Plus. How is Messi going to benefit from this? Well, it's pretty simple. He will receive a percentage of all new subscriptions to MLS Season Pass. That means if you're going to pay to watch Messi play, you have to pay the player himself. Apple TV Plus also revealed that Messi is set to be the subject of a new four-part documentary series. We wonder how much each part will cost. But do you know what's even crazier? All MLS clubs had to give their permission to make this deal happen. Imagine Real Madrid approving a marquee signing for Barcelona. That's precisely what happened. However, MLS clubs knew that Messi's arrival would also benefit them. So, why the hell not? Both Adidas and Apple knew how to make the most of Messi's arrival in the USA. These companies knew that with Messi in town, people's interest in soccer would skyrocket. Even if you have never watched a ball kicked before. Even if you have never heard of the game. Once you listen to people talking about a legend arriving in your country, you'll immediately be hooked and try to watch the phenomenon by yourself. So just like that, Adidas and Apple will not only profit by increasing their sales thanks to the global media attention the Argentine provides, but they also decided to give the player his own share of the profits. But these aren't the only companies that are going to make a profit and benefit Leo at the same time. Hard Rock Calf, which has worked with Messi since 2021, reignited their interest and signed a five-year collaboration with the Argentine. They launched a marketing campaign called Greatness Happens Here, where they created a special sandwich called the Messi Chicken Sandwich. Yeah, you heard that, right? But did you know this isn't the first time Leo had a sandwich named after him? Yep, the same brand launched the Messi Burger to the chain's menu in 2021. Next time, they will launch the Leo Crispy Onions. Joking aside, the food chain released an entertaining ad featuring the Argentine walking into the kitchen and orchestrating the cooking. The commercial has been distributed on 
social media, Yelp, CTV, and in the hard rock cafes and hotels. Financial details were not released by the company. However, such a deal is undoubtedly their most profitable regarding the brand's exposure. The chain even intends to display original Messi collectibles, according to the agency's managing director in charge of the marketing campaign pain. How exactly can Messi benefit all these brands? Well, it's simple. He has 480 million Instagram followers, second only to longtime rival Cristiano Ronaldo at 597 million. Inter Miami's Instagram account has had an 800% surge since Messi announced his arrival. So imagine what a single post from the GOAT would do to a brand. Well, there is no need to imagine because we brought you an example. Leo shared his hard rock calf on his Instagram profile. And could you guess how many likes it got? Over 10 million. Not only that, but players like Neymar Jr. and Sergio Aguero also interacted with the video. So, with a single click of a button, Leo can take a brand to the very top. These are just some of the brands that jumped on the opportunity once Leo stepped foot in America. Budweiser, MasterCard, Pepsi, Saudi Arabia Tourism, and Socios are among Messi's several partners. Some are old, others are new, but they all share the same goal, to get the most money thanks to the Argentine's influence. We hope you enjoyed our video. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons and help us become the new Leo Messi partners. We'll give you your share if we manage to do that. Until next time.